Okay, had somebody ask how you modify the configuration for um, an airplane in the for the um, FMS reflex gyro. So first of all, you have to go and get the software. Click download files and it's downloaded right there. So it's in the downloads folder and it's a WinRAR archive. So you need WinRAR to extract it, which I have that installed on my PC. And you right click it and it says extract to, and I click on the one that has the name of the program so that it makes a new folder. And there's the folder. All right, so you go in here and here's the executable. So if I run this, there's all the models that it originally came with. And I have the, I have a gyro connected right now and it's reading the gyro data. So if you pick one of these, it shows the image of the airplane. So there's a file in the images folder for this plane. And when you click installation instructions, there's a, another image of how the gyro is mounted in the plane. So there's two image files that you will have to come up with when you create a new configuration for a different kind of plane. So you've got the well, let's get out of here and let's go into the parameter folder. And uh, this file, you need to edit these files with a uh, text editor. And I use Notepad++. So here's the config file. And it's numbered sequentially until you get down so far. And then it gets a little weird. The numbers, at least when I looked earlier, yeah, see, there's 36. So they're kind of jumbled up. But what we're going to do is we're going to wipe out all of these except for one. So we're going to start right here and just page down and delete all of those. So we're going to call this test one. And then for the notes, this is be whatever you want to put. Or why it why it did that? It's trying to correct correct me. So, all right. So that file we'll leave that like it is. We'll just use test dash one, a test airplane. And that. So we'll click right here on the floppy disk and save that. Actually, what I should have done is I should have made a copy of this. Let's get out of this and tell it no, I don't want to save it. Let's let's do the safe thing first. Let's let's take these files and let's make a copy of them. And then we'll take the param.dll and we'll copy it. All right, so now we'll go back to the original config file and go back into Notepad. 
and change this. I'm typing really great tonight. Change that to that. We'll call it that. And then the rest of these, we'll highlight them and delete them. So now that's all we have in here. It's one airplane. Name of it's test-1, 1400 millimeter test V1. So now we'll click the floppy disk and save it. And we'll get out of here. And then we'll go to the param file and open it with notepad. And now we'll go down here to this pits and we'll rename it to test one. And then we'll go down to the next model just above it. And we'll highlight, highlight all this and we'll delete all the rest of these models. So now we'll leave this help stuff here. And we've got our test model, test dash one. Can't tell you what the 14 BIS OK means. Uh, this is where you, the one I assume is reverse and the zero is not reversed. So that's where you would reverse aileron elevator or rudder if you needed to, if the gyro moved the wrong direction. Then you got the aileron proportional value, which is the gain, and it's set to 34. And you've got the integral, it's set to 30, and you got the derivative. This is set up like a PID controller. Uh, Spectrum uses the same kind of setup, more or less. Um, but anyway, um, the proportional division equals six. I have no idea what that does. Uh, div one equal 10, div two equal nine. I don't know what those do. Then you got the elevator settings and then you got the rudder settings. And then you have, I assume this is dual rate. Um, that's just a wild guess. You can lower this value to 75 and see if it gives you less throw. I, I've never tried it. In fact, I've never done my own setup for a plane. Um, I have no idea what most of this stuff means. Um, I haven't attempted to create a new configuration for a non-FMS airplane, but at any rate, you can change these values and experiment and see what happens. Uh, but anyway, we have one airplane named test-1. The rest of this stuff stays. I don't think any of this hurts anything to be there. So now we'll click the floppy disk and save this file. And we'll close it. And, yep, yeah, don't need to close that. All right, now we're out. So we've modified config DLL. It only has the one airplane. And we've modified param DLL. And it has the top part and one airplane that we've renamed. All right, now, if you go back up the images folder, if you look at this, there are basically two images for each airplane. So we need to create a BMP file named test-1. And what we'll do is we'll just make a copy. And we'll do the INS. That's the instruction file. Uh, that's the image that shows you how the gyro is mounted in the plane. So we'll make a copy of that and paste it. And then we'll go and we'll rename these to the name of our airplane, test-1. And it threw it down at the bottom. Where's our other one? There's our instruction file. 
we want to leave the INS, we want to put test dash one dash INS, and we want to take away the copy. So now we've got a test dash one dot BMP and a test dash one dash INS dot BMP. So we've got our two image files for the new airplane. All right, so now let's uh, try to run this and see what happens. Okay, there is our 1400 millimeter test version one. And yeah, that was the Fox, whatever it was that I copied. And the installation instructions is that airplane shows you how it's mounted. So what you would do is you you if you're going to do an airplane similar to what they have then i would use i would use the images for an airplane that's close to what you're putting this gyro in so that it sort of looks like the plane you have and uh, shows how to mount it i would pick a plane where they show the mounting uh, to be like the way you're going to put it in your plane but at any rate uh, it only shows the one airplane and it has the image for the plane and the instructions for the plane for mounting it. So now if you double click it, there it is and you click OK and supposedly it's written it to the gyro shows the name software date all that good stuff I don't know what it said before but uh, at any rate supposedly it's loaded so like I say you got to make two image files you got to modify the two parameter files the config.dll and the param.dll make a backup copy of the originals and that's about all I know about it uh, good luck I think you're gonna need it <laughs>